Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, we are going to be playing some Red Dead Redemption. Yay, it's finally here. We're playing Red Dead. Oh my gosh. Now, uh, I am streaming this on PS Now. That is the only way I think I can play it without changing consoles, of course. Um, so if it is choppy, the audio is weird, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not sure. And this is an old game as well, so... We'll see how this goes. If the quality ends up being bad, audio, anything like that, you guys let me know. I'm sure I'll pick up on it too anyway. <laughs> or if you just think the quality is too bad in general and we would rather not even watch it, that's completely fine too and we can stop the playthrough. I don't know. We'll see how everything goes this first episode and yeah. Now I've said this before in my last Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough at the very end. I have played this game before but I played it when I was like 10. So it was so long ago, I don't really remember most of it. So right there, like, it is a little poppy. Like, the noise is popping uh, in my headphones, so I'm not sure if it'll come out like that in on the video. We'll, we'll see, I guess. But it is... I don't mind it. It's just I noticed it. But yeah, it has been a long time, so I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and play this, especially right after we finish Red Dead 2. So this is going to be interesting. I'm excited. Hopefully this all goes as planned. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Oh yeah, it is popping a bunch in my headphones right now. I hope it doesn't come out like that for you guys, but we'll see how this goes. Oh my god, this game's so fucking old. <laughs> I don't remember it looking like this, honestly. I thought it was groundbreaking graphics. And I'm sure it was for its time, but dear lord, this is old. <laughs> oh my god. Rockstar, man, they've come a long way. Ah, oh, yeah, so... I did remember at the end of Red Dead- Okay, kid, shut up, I'm trying to explain. The end of Red Dead 2. These guys showed up, right? At our house? Rockstar Games presents. So... They're on to us. They're on to us, right, about killing Micah. Is that right? Rockstar San Diego production. Blackwater Station. We're back in Blackwater? Why are we in Blackwater, though? What did we- we live near Strawberry, that's where it was. Yeah, it is popping a lot in my headphones. But I can get past it, but it's just... I hope and pray it's not for you guys. It's not like that for you guys. Here we go, my boys. Back at it again. Old John Marston. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, oh my God! <laughs> can fly yeah, we all anymore. thought that at first. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Well, I mean, they do get airplanes, but we definitely don't get flying cars. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. 
Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. We're going to Armadillo? So we're going from Blackwater to Armadillo? Remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the oh, gifts. Oh, uh, what's her name? The Bonnie, right? The McFarland? to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. Where are we being ex escorted, though? So where the, where the... Where are the peeps? Oh, they're still with us. I think. No? I don't know. Hmm. All right, go to the saloon. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. We are on a PS3. <laughs> oh man, it, this is feels so weird. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is a little choppy, but let me know how you guys are enjoying it. Hold X to sprint. Woo, look at us run, boys. Oh my god. Alright, this feels like I'm watching somebody play and not actually play myself. <laughs> that guy, alright. Oh god, it is a little laggy, okay. Let's get in here. That's not uncle, is it? I don't look- well, he looks- No, that's not uncle. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. <laughs> All right, Jake, Jakey boy. Where are the horses? This game looks so great. You ain't gonna find 30 of horses in these in all of New Orleans. All right, got on the horsey. You be on Miss, the now. We Miss, don't need to draw on Miss, you get out of my fucking way. Miss, get, okay, you're gonna get hit, girl. Come on. Oh, come on, turn. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. Oh my, this is so realistic. Oh shit. Hey. Oh shit. Okay. We going? Tell us Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent oh, you know brother what? to want to visit. If you don't. I need uh, subtitles. Slam. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. Who are they talking about? So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Know what you do find about as sociable as an old three to back to. I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Who are we talking about? 
God, yeah, it is so choppy. I can't. I'm sorry if I'm mentioning it too much, but like, I'm just so used to my. Are you, you planning know, on spending any time in Armadillo, PS4 Mr. Games. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like thieves landed. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Aw, Abigail. We haven't even seen Abigail and Jack yet. Yeah. So it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Man, this is so clunky. The writing. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. <laughs> I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. That's for sure. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. All right. We're here to see an old friend, he says, huh? All right. Poor yeah, Mercer. Yeah. I remember this. Whoa. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. Hmm. This is where we part ways, friend. Thanks for you showing me around, Jack. A good time. Bye. <laughs> All right, don't creepily laugh like that, sir. Okay, we are wearing a bandana. I never realized we wear that bandana. Because I remember in the other games, I thought there was like blood on my neck, and I was like, what? All right. Let's get it on up. Get up there. What's the dealio? What are we doing? Bill! Oh, Bill, I'll come for you. Bill Williamson. Come out here right now! Ah, already getting right into it, aren't we? Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody <laughs> needs to kill anyone, Bill. Bill's just a lazy sack of shit. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> Oh, do I look like I need saving? Yeah. <laughs> Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. What? Yes, we did. You only seem <laughs> to save yourself. You decided to choose Dutch, my boy. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. Oh, okay. No more Dutch. And no more you. Like John, John was never in charge. I think what the fuck. I I implores you. You angry? Go to be go angry at Dutch. And tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Oh. Oh, John. <laughs> what the hell was that? John, you better than that. Come on, my man. The hell was that? Shit, look at us, we're bleeding. Bonnie? 
that you? I'm surprised they just let him, well, I just feel like knowing Bill, I feel like he would take my body and like spit on it or something. <laughs> but they just left me. Ah, uh, beautiful home. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. <laughs> what were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. You kind of were, John. You'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. That's cheap as hell, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Yeah. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him a long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. <laughs> Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm going to. Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that oh. sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I know, right? You got shot so quickly. In mind. It's already the beginning of the game. He's already almost dead. But I guess that's how it always starts. I mean, Red Dead 2, he was fucking getting attacked by bears and wolves and shit. Freaking John, my boy. You gotta be careful. Join Bonnie. All right. Bonnie! I remember uh, late nights. I, w I used to play poker here. <laughs> it was a good time. I remember whenever I used to just play Red Dead to play poker. Yeah. All right. Bonnie. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Yes. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. All right, where are we going, Bonnie? Oh God, are we gonna? What's it called? What's that thing? Hurting. That's what it's called, right? There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself. <laughs> I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Oh. Thank you. So nice of you. She's pretty. Come on, or he. Time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Oh, uh, turn it, turn it. Yep. Go. The horse riding is a little difficult. That's a strong horse, though. All right. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. <laughs> Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Getting the grand tour from Bonnie. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. <laughs> now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase.
that's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. No complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Our first hitch of the game. Well, are we going inside? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't mind me. We can walk together. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna miss Arthur's hat. I miss it already. Oh, sorry, I just popped in there. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Oh, that sounds good, Thank thanks. ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. I like sitting. Thanks. <laughs> Where's Abigail and Jack? I need to see my wife. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? Oh, yeah. here we go. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. Bonnie's so inviting. Really beautiful at around this time. Like, everything is just going so smoothly, I feel like, and she's already introduced us to everything, or showed us around. We'd best get moving. This Here is we a are. This time of night for us. About to guard the place. yourself shot again. <laughs> well, I'll try. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. She used to do this by herself? Man. I guess I shouldn't underestimate her, though, because, I mean, Sadie. <laughs> Sadie was a badass. Again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Rabbits? What's wrong with the damn rabbits? Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pot. Get rid of the. Oh god, Amy's gonna be a bitch. I'm sorry. Can I? Oh, that's not how you. Oh, you shot. Okay. Oh god, aiming's gonna be so bad in here. Uh, pre-aim. Or to the shoot. Yeah, I know. Much obliged for the help. Them rabbits can be wily, little critters. Now back up. We should check out the rest of the ranch. Alright. Yeah, it is like a little, um... We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. What's the word? I don't know, it's hard to explain, like, it's, it's like, laggy a little bit, and, like, it doesn't, it's not Let's accurate, go. I guess. It's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crop. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. <laughs> Look out! Coyotes! Shoot oh. before they get to the animals! <laughs> yeah, we got one! Get him, get him! Hurry! I bet they're going straight for the chicken! Giddy up! Where else are they? Activate dead eye. Oh, they're over here. Yeah, it is a little. Oh no, it's just a little funky, I guess. Oh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. That makes you mad. Oh, poor chicken. I'll show you the way to your room. All right, look at that. Learn how to shoot. 
You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. All right. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. <laughs> Get some sleep and I will Only see now. you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Alrighty, my boys, let's go talk to Bonnie again. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. <laughs> you know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. <laughs> well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. <laughs> See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. He's so formal. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Oh, I can ride, miss. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll oh, God. See. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I know I can do it, but uh, these controls are a little wonky. So we'll see what we, how we do. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Come on. On the count of three. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. Go. Go, 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 I trust go, go. you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Oh, my God. This horse is so fucking weak. Come on. Don't go easy on me. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, we're almost there. Call yourself a dangerous outlaw? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> come on, this sucks. Yeah. Get up there, get up there, get up there, my man. Yeah. Oh my god, these controls. Ah, I'm not doing that. Oh my god, okay, wait, hold on. Go, 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 Let's go, go. go. We can't let her win! Oh gosh. It's like so laggy! Oh my god, this is terrible. And this horse has no stamina. Oh my god, no! <laughs> this is terrible. Go, 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 go. Bonnie is gone, man. <laughs> she took advantage of that screw up that I have and she just left me. Yeah. I could have won if my horse hadn't gone the other way. She totally beat me by, by a lot. <laughs> Damn, she was waiting on my ass.
was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. <laughs> All right, we got another Bonnie mission, and then we also can go talk to the Marshal. Let's go ahead and talk to Bonnie. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Take the reins, Mr. Marston. All right, then. Here comes my bad driving. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Oh my god, all these people need to get out of my damn way. Howdy. Howdy. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. <laughs> I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Of course oh, they are. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. <laughs> oh, I just nice worry about say. you calivating around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. All right, we're just about there. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. <laughs> oh, shit. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? My wife. Damn, I wanted to hear what they were going to say. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Had a bumpy ride here, man. <laughs> Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. No, oh, all right then. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. All right then. Howdy. Just finished helping a patient. How can I help you? How are you, friend? All right. You need something for that gout? I just Much need some blood. medicine. Thank you, sir. Take care of yourself. I was the man that Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Thank you. All right, we can go talk to the marshal now. Now 
Nice. <laughs> the hell's that noise? Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Ew. Shut up, you! Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> oh, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? Oh, my God. I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. I'm not a Williamson boy. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright, but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Mr. Johnson, sir. <laughs> and you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. What is, <laughs> who is banging? I think school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking hard. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Far Who's from banging? Frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? <laughs> He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have them out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burned down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. <laughs> all right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. Let's do it. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? <laughs> Only when things matter. Bye. Have fun. Let's head over to the saloon. Oh, laggy. All right. Who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. <laughs> There's a dumb rat bastard now. That's one of them. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. <laughs> All right. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. He spotted you. Stay on him, boy. 
Oh, come on, horsey. Come on, quicker. Let's go. Oh, damn, that's really quick. Okay, come here. Go, 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 go. Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Oh, shit. Come on, man. We're supposed to be tailing him. Are you crazy? <laughs> Where the hell is this marshal? Let's go. What is he? Why is he walking so... What is he not even... What are you doing? Let's go. Okay, oh, why is... Now. Why isn't he talking? Alright, this is weird. Alright, that was a little weird. I'm not sure what happened there, but we're here. Looks like we got company, boys! Now, I know, like, I think the Pinkertons hey, are, like, one of the main gangs in this in this game, right? We'll work our way up this hill. Over here, pussyfoot! Move up to that oh, wagon on your right. You. I'll cover you. Marston, take that bastard behind the crate. Oh Ooh, God. that's how it's done. All right. Move up to that crate. I'll cover you. That blue behind the rock is yours, Marston. I'll put a window in your skull, Walton. Ow. Got shot. All right. Move up to that rock. I'll keep you covered. I got him, I got him. Good. Now move up to the outhouse, Marston. I know how to move up, sir. You should run oh, off home. I'll teach you some respect for the law. Wolf's inside the house. Take him alive if you can. Bravo. Come here, son. I'm trying. I don't have a lasso. Come on, boy. Get in the way. Uh, bitch. Uh, ground tackle. <laughs> and a cactus. Let's go. Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Bye, sir. He's a good guy, for the most part. All right. Job well done. Got 20 bucks. Look at that. Alrighty, guys. So that is Red Dead Redemption. Um... Let me know what you guys think of the quality of everything. Is it good enough to keep going? Is it not good enough to keep going? Because for me, it is a little frustrating with the controls. But I'm willing to go past it if y'all really want to see this and it's worth it. There's like a whole ass gang fight going on right now. Um, but yeah, I'm willing to- oh my god, they're coming this way. Get the fuck away! But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see some more, please let me know down in the comments and make sure to leave a like on this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.